How are you doing everyone? My name is Petrus. I'm a PhD in Cheng Yuan Christian University. Today I would like to present my study about toxicity evaluation of neonicotinoids to earthworm behaviors by a novel locomotion tracking assay. This study already published in Environmental Pollution, so you can check it online. Crop is such an important thing to us humans, as we need it as a main source of our food. Farmers will try their best to increase the total crop production to increase the total food. However, there are enemy of the farmer which is the pest, like insect. Unwanted animal will eat and attack the crops and can lead to destroyed crops. Destroyed crops will reduce the total crops production and reducing the food. Therefore farmers usually will using pesticide or insecticide to kill the pest. One of the most used pesticide in the world is neonicotinoid. This insecticide is very sensitive and specific to insect. They are so efficient to kill the insect so farmers often use this insecticide. Neonicotinoid work by binding to the nicotinoid acetylcholine receptor and alter the neurotransmitter in insect. After binding the nicotinoid acetylcholine receptor, neonicotinoid could disrupt insect's central nervous system, causing them to palaise and die. Several neonicotinoid has been used worldwide, like acetamiprid, imidacloprid, and dinotefurin. Even though it is quite specific to insect, However there are several study that showed neonicotinoid also could affect other non-target animal other than insect. This fact make the neonicotinoid quite dangerous if used excessively. As said before, neonicotinoid could affect the non-target animal other than insect. For example is this study. This study proved that imidacloprid, which one of the most used neonicotinoid could affect freshwater shrimp that not the target animal. Imidacloprid could affect the freshwater shrimp even on low concentration. They could significantly lower the locomotion activity of freshwater shrimp. Imidacloprid treated shrimp become paralyzed and unable to swim freely. Not only that, imidacloprid also could affect the cardiovascular of the freshwater shrimp. Exposure to neonicotinoid could reducing the heartbeat of freshwater shrimp and also the gill ventilation. Furthermore, molecular docking of this experiment also proved that imidacloprid could binding with shrimp nicotinoid acetylcholine receptor which could affect their central nervous system. Excessive use of pesticide could lead to the contamination of this compound to the environment. Pesticide could end up on the aquatic environment, this could lead to the pesticide to affect the life of many animal in aquatic ecosystem. Especially according to prior study in freshwater shrimp, it can get a severe effect from imidacloprid. Not only aquatic environment, pesticide also could end up contaminate the soil ecosystem, which can affect any animal in soil. As we know that neonicotinoid could affect non-target animal other than insect, we must be careful of their effect to other animal. Soil ecosystem itself is so important for crops so their longevity must be protected along with their animal. Soil animal is important for soil health itself, Therefore it is important for us to find out whether neonicotinoid could affect the soiled animal like earthworm. Here we aim to examine the neonicotinoid effect on earthworm behavior. Why earthworm are so important for soil ecosystem? Earthworm is one of the biggest population animal that live in the soil. They play an important role in soil health. They burrowing behavior is important for soil, as their tunnel resulted from their movement could bring in oxygen, drain water, and create space for plant roots. Their feeding habits mean that small amounts of soil pass through their bodies and suppressingly, when they excrete it, it is in a better condition. This fact showed how important earthworm is. Therefore it is important for us to examine their behavior especially after exposure to neonicotinoid. We can see whether their behavior can get affected by neonicotinoid or not in this study. Earthworm also has been used in scientific field as animal model. They often used as animal model for soil toxicity test. As they are the biggest representative animal in the soil. Moreover, the whole genome of earthworm has been decoded which make them an even better animal model for toxicity test. Earthworm are invertebrate organism belonging to phylum Annelida, characterized by a true coelom. As I said earlier, they play an important role in soil health, nutrient cycling, and soil formation, making them essential for ecosystem balance. Due to their constant interaction with soil particles and microorganisms, 
earthworms are highly sensitive to environmental pollutants. Moreover earthworms can break down dead and decaying organic matter into rich humus soil, thereby supporting plant growth. Their activity in soil offer many benefits like increased nutrient availability, better drainage, and a more stable soil structure to help improve farm productivity. These are the reason on why they are so important for soil and their safety to compound like pesticide need to be addressed. A lot of researcher has been using earthworm as animal model for soil toxicity test. OECD has made several tests for earthworm soil toxicity. They often using filter paper with tested compound absorbed into the filter paper and put earthworm on the filter paper. In here we used similar method like OECD filter paper test with modification. We will place the earthworm in the plate with filter paper inside and input the neonicotinoid compound in filter paper by absorption. Earthworm then will be directly exposed to filter paper that already absorb the neonicotinoid. With this earthworm skin will be in direct contact with the compound we tested. After that we can examine their behavior. Prior studies has been used earthworm to examine the toxicity level of several compound like pesticide and heavy metals. Previous toxicity method in earthworm often only using the lethal concentration, acute toxicity test, reproduction test, or soil burrowing test. However, there are limited method to examine the earthworm behavior. Behavior is such a good assay for toxicity test, therefore in here we used novel method to examine the effect of neonicotinoid by checking earthworm behavior. Here is the experimental design of this study. We start by establish the tracking method so we can examine and extract the earthworm behavior from the video. Here we will be using ZebraBox to record the earthworm behavior and UMA tracker to tracking the earthworm movement. Further we will using the tracking method to evaluate the neonicotinoid effect on earthworm behavior. Then from there we can extract several endpoints from earthworm behavior. We also test the in silico study. In this study, we use ZebraBox machine for the recording of earthworm. After exposure in neonicotinoid we moved the earthworm into the homemade acrylic tank that will be used as a plate for recording. After that we can record it inside the ZebraBox. Here you can see the video of earthworm after recording using ZebraBox. The earthworm move all across the plate. After get the video from ZebraBox, we need to tracking the earthworm movement to analyze their behavior. In here we try several tracking tools like ImageJ, ID Tracker, ToxTrack and UMA Tracker. According to the result, UmaTracker showed a better result compared to the other tools. Therefore in this study we use UmaTracker as our main tracking tools. This is the result after UmaTracker tracking the earthworm movement. You can see the point will following the earthworm and will report the earthworm movement. UmaTracker will be track the center position of the earthworm. Later UmaTracker will be producing the Excel file that can be used for analysis. After tracking was done, UmaTracker will be giving us the Excel file that include the X and Y coordinate of earthworm movement. This Excel file can be used to analyze their activity. Here we want to find the best condition for earthworm recording. 30 minutes time showed the best locomotion activity. We will choose 30 minutes since we can see the active movement. It is also the same for light cycle, where it showed a rather active movement. We choose light cycle on 30 minutes time to show the active locomotion activity of earthworm, so if there are any compromise or altered behavior it will be more easy to observe. This is the behavior endpoint result for neonicotinoid treated earthworm. We can see here that neonicotinoid could affect locomotion activity of earthworm by reducing the average speed and increasing the freezing behavior. By this result we can say that earthworm after exposure to neonicotinoid become less active, their movement become compromised and often freezing. Meanwhile the control earthworm will actively move across the plate. Furthermore, exposure to neonicotinoid also causing the earthworm to often stay in the center area of the plate and not fully explore the plate. Higher time spent in center are prove this statement. Moreover, Thigmotaxis result also showed that earthworm not often stay near the wall and likely to stay in the center area. These results prove that neonicotinoid could affect the behavior of earthworm by reducing the locomotion activity of the earthworm and also affect their exploratory behavior. Furthermore fractal dimension also tested in this study. 
Fractal dimension value is significantly lower compared to control this means that the earthworm treated with neonicotinoid are less active compared to control. This is in line with the average speed result. Moreover, the angular velocity and meandering are altered, which mean that earthworm movement orientation gets affected. To complete the behavior result, we do PCA and heat map test. According to the result the tested compound was divided into two big groups. The one that in the same groups with control mean that their effect is not as severe as the one in different groups. For example, sulfoxiflor, imidacloprid, and thiaclopride showed a severe effect on all endpoints, that is why their position on PCA figure was the farthest one. Meanwhile, nitinpyrum showed a least effect since it is near control. Molecular docking also supported our behavior endpoint result. Here it showed that all the neonicotinoid actually can bind to the acetylcholine rector and can affect the nervous system. The behavior get affected may be due to the fact that neonicotinoid could bind with acetylcholine receptor and affect nervous system. From this study, we successfully established the novel behavior assay for earthworm neurobehavior analysis for the first time. We also can extract several behavior endpoint like average speed and fractal dimension. These multiple endpoints have been established for toxicity assessment in earthworm. Moreover, according to our result, neonicotinoids can bind acetylcholine with high affinity to induce immobilization in earthworm. That is all from me. Thank you everyone for listening.